It's Madden NFL 24. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Green Bay Packers and the Atlanta Falcons. All that and more coming up next. First opened in 2017, there's a look at the beautiful state-of-the-art Mercedes-Benz Stadium here in Atlanta, GA. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the Green Bay Packers taking on the Atlanta Falcons. Brandon Gordon joined in the booth by Charles Davis. That's CD. These Falcons seem to be in an interesting spot coming into 2023. They've seemingly got playmakers galore on offense, but they may only be as good as what their defense can do for them. And that defense, 27th overall in the league last year, so they must improve. In order to help them, though, they're going to try and control the ball more on the offensive side, try and run it a little bit more and take some time off the clock. And meanwhile, for the visiting Packers, one era ends, another begins. This is a team that finished 8-9 last year, missed out on the playoffs at the very end. What needs to happen for the green and gold to be playoff bound once more? Everyone's focusing on how they're starting over on the offensive side of the ball. But to me, they have an accumulation of talent on defense that needs to play like a top 10, top 5 defense in the NFL. The veteran punter Bradley Pinion has this one teed up and we are underway from Atlanta. Keyshawn Nixon now from his end zone and just shutting him off there. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. So here are the new look Packers set to go to work. And at the helm here in 2023, a lot of eyes on this man in his fourth NFL season, Jordan Love. This is set up now to be the true beginning of Love's NFL career because he's finally out from under the shadow of Aaron Rodgers and Green Bay is giving him this season to prove he can be their starter. Four years after he was drafted in the first round, we'll find out Love is the next decade-long starter for the Green Bay Packers. Four yards the result on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. Brandon, we just saw the benefits of being able to run the ball successfully. They pick up four yards on that carry. So now if you're a play caller, you can do just about anything you want, but on the defensive side of the ball, you scramble a little bit. Now you're behind trying to figure out, do I need to blitz him? Do I need to pressure him? How do I gain an advantage on this step? They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. This defense looking for an early stop. This is third down and six. Here's Love. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A first down and then some. Give him 29 yards. Well, a lot of times when you get a manageable third down situation like this, you have to think about your tight end, and he comes through for him, picking up the first down. From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Off the play fake, Love. And this one is incomplete. Not a great start dropping his first target, but let's face it, it won't be his last chance because he'll get opportunities to make up for that one throughout this game. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Love looking to throw it. A short throw to Musgrave. Five yards. Now it's third and five. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Throwing. Love. And he is caught. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Give him seven yards on the play as they do pick up the third down conversion. 
Solid opening drive so far, Charles. They've moved this football into field goal range, but you know that they want to cap this off with six and not three. Absolutely. As one of the better coaches in the league always tells me, on offense, I want to throw body blows all game long and finish it with uppercuts. Well, here are the body blows right now. He's hoping in one uppercut will take care of the end of this drive. Richie Grant in on the tackle. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons 21. A nice pickup there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. And the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far on the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. Love. Right side to Watson. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. And oftentimes we think about statement drives in the second halves of games, especially in the fourth quarter. But here, it's happening early, a definite statement. They've held on to the ball for a healthy portion this first quarter already, and now after that completion, they're set up first and goal. Towards the middle and caught by Musgrave. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. Well, they're not hiding who their central focus is on offense. Charles, he already now has four receptions here on this opening drive. And I know people who are watching the game are thinking, did they forget about him in the defensive game plan? But it's actually been the opposite. They're giving him a lot of attention, but he's been very creative and savvy in his route running and finding seams and opening. Rush coming, and he's taken down. And that one really pushes him back. A loss of nine. And now it's third and goal after the sack. Second goal, last thing you need to do is get pushed backwards to take a sack. But he couldn't find anywhere to go with the football. Had to eat it and ended up on the ground. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. To throw now. Here's Love. is going to be incomplete. The third down battle won by Atlanta's defense. Solid coverage. Well, so a drive that spans all that time, and yet you may only come away with three points here. Well, your defense, all right, they actually like these long drives. They get to rest over on the sidelines for a while, but when you're not finishing with points in terms of touchdowns, that's frustrating. They've got to figure out how to close out these long drives and get sixes instead of threes. Well, given where they started that opening drive, CD, I think to get three out of it, probably a pretty good start that they'll take. I think you're exactly right about that because they just shook off the effects of the kickoff in field position and took the ball and moved it downfield. Didn't pay off with a touchdown, but that drive, that was really nice for them, and they did come away with three points. So after the made field goal, here's Carlson to send it away. Oh, a good return up past the 30. And he'll return this one all the way out of the other side of the field. The Falcons ready to go to work here on offense. And at the helm in his second season, Charles, it's Desmond Ritter. The Falcons got their feet wet with Ritter during a four-game audition last season, and he did end their year with a pair of wins. Optimism reigns that he is their quarterback of the future. Now Ritter to throw on first down. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. That was a long pass attempt downfield, and the ball was popped up in the air. And how come things go from really fast to almost slow motion when the ball's up in the air and the defender's unable to haul it in before it hits the ground? After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. Ritter will set up to throw it. Kadero Hodge has it complete. Touchdown! Falcons have answered that early field goal to take a 
first quarter lead. And there they got him the ball. Just get it to him, let him do the rest. You know, he probably said that to his quarterback as he broke the huddle. I like the play call. Just get it to me. I'll take care of the rest of it. Helping out his rack, right? RAC. Run after catch. And he loves that. And he's going to carry that in at contract time. Two able to connect on the extra point, and that makes it a 7-3 lead. Pretty clean and simple there. Just two plays, and the long pass resulting in the touchdown on play number two. with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. And Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But let's have to remember, they did put points on the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. You've always been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball coming his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on that stop. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. In today's NFL, you hear all the time about stretching the field and creating space in order to run plays. A toss play will help accomplish that because now you're pushing a defense to chase you all the way to the edges and to the sideline. That's a nice run probing now early to try and get things done later. On third down, Love. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he's going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I'm not sure that that was necessarily a safety valve or a check down throw on third down. Sometimes you just try and find the open guy and get him the ball. He did exactly that and found a way to pick up a first down. Now a first down carry by Jones. And he maneuvers up the middle for three. And it's second down. Second and seven. Now Love. Quick slant to Watson. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10 at the 47. On play action, love to throw. And his throw is incomplete. Haven't met a corner that's worth the salt yet that ever admits to worrying about man coverage. How about the play there, breaking that pass up? So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. They go back to the ground with Jones. And pretty good running as he'll be close to a first down at the Falcons 38. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. That was a good run, probably right on the edge of breaking into something really big. So the defensive guys right now are talking about, okay, what can we do to slow him down before he truly gets started? On third and one, love to throw. Open man is Musgrave, and he's got it. And he is going to have a Packers first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one.
Play fake. Here's Love. He'll find a goal to complete. Short completion, just four yards, and it'll be second down. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? Play action this time with Love. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. He had no options downfield there and just chucked it out of bounds. There was no one open. He was in the pocket. Where was the intentional grounding call? Oh, you wanted the flag. Of course I did. I'm a defensive guy. You know that. Where was the flag? The officials point out that someone was in the area. He got away with one. Love. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. That's what you're going to need to do against those big receivers. you got to get in there and get physical with them. That time he got in close, got in tight, and knocked the ball away. So off goes Love. On is Carlson for the Packer field goal. He made his first attempt, this from 45. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through. And they'll get it back within a point at 7-6. to six. He might be being set up here for a fancy ball game already. Two kicks here in the first quarter, and he's knocked both through the posts. And for now, you know they'll be happy getting those three points, but what they really want is to find a way for him to kick extra points instead of field goals. And back out there now to send this one away. From his end zone, here comes Patterson. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. So for the second time in this one, we get set to see the Falcons offense. First down, here's Ritter. And his throw is going to be incomplete. The target there, Mac Hollins. But it's going to be second down. The Ritter back to throw. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. They could not contain Kenny Clark as he gets home for the sack. Well, there was second long. Now it's third and even longer. They're going in the wrong direction here. Because they're moving exactly the way they want to, but you're exactly right. Definitely going in the wrong direction for the offensive guys. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. To the sideline and incomplete. Parker, we've got ourselves a ball game, and those guys on defense, they came to play. Slipped up on their first series, but they're definitely settling in now and letting it be known that points won't come so easy again. Now a man who did his collegiate punting just a couple hours from here in Clemson in South Carolina, Bradley Pinion to kick. Now the rookie Jaden Reed deep for the Packers. Taken at the 37. 42-yard punt, six on the return. And it'll be Packer football here. First down and 10. Green Bay's offense ready to go again. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, that <laughs> weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive dead with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. Here's a second and eight. Love now. This one swung out here to Jones. A swift move and then tackled just on the other side of midfield. Here now, third and a yard.
to pass. Here's Jordan Love. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Packers first down by a couple of yards as they're able to get four there on third and two. Operating from the gun, Love. And incomplete on the deep ball. Well, not that we had any questions, but it's obvious his arm does not hurt today, does it? He does not mind slinging it around. He is firing that pigskin around the yard. Yeah, putting it deep downfield, taking shots. Unsuccessful there, but I like his moxie. On second down, it's Jones. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty, but when it doesn't, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. Third down and 13. Back to throw. Love setting up the screen here, Aaron Jones. And he can only get this to the 42-yard line, and that is not near enough. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough, and now fourth down. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. On now is the Packers punter, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. And this will be up to the ruling of the side judge here. He says it crossed out of bounds at the 16-yard line. Here comes the Atlanta offense now ready to take over here. No points last time out. They were forced to punt, if you remember, but no time to dwell on that. They've still got the lead here and a chance to add to that here. First and 10 as this new drive starts. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. After one, a one-point game, seven to six. Back now in Atlanta, second quarter action. The Falcons with the football. So quickly, all the way up at the 40-yard line as they've got it as we resume action. Here's the eighth overall pick from Texas. It's B. John Robinson. He'll get this up to about the 44. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it. Thank you. From the 44-yard line, here's a second down and six. Back to throw, Ritter. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. A nice pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Well, here's your first example of how this guy can beat you in more ways than one because they took away his arm, but he was more than happy to dissect it with his legs for that first down pickup. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 46. On first and 10, it's Robinson. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. Tackle made by Devondre Campbell. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carrier before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. Second and nine. Ritter. They'll get this to his tight end. It's Jonu Smith. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on catching the ball and not much run after the catch. A yard all they need, but it's third down. Off the play fake, it's Ritter. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's going to have the Falcons first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert there on third and one. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moved. And yeah, they were right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. Breaks through the contact and brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 
10 yards there and a first down for the Falcons. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. Ritter off to play fake. That is caught at the seven. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. 18 yards the game for number 18. Even against double coverage, he found enough of an opening for a noticeable gain. Two guys on him, yet he finds a way to uncover downfield for the completion. They'll run with Robinson. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Robinson again. Pushing for the end zone, but he's not going to get there. They stop him just shy of the goal line. They give him two yards officially, and now it'll be third and goal. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is the time you go play action and throw the ball. I say under pressure now, and he's going to go down. Sack back around the eight. And that sack brings up fourth and goal, a loss of seven. Big play. Like the footwork back there. I thought he did a pretty good job of evading that first wave of players. Tried to buy a little extra time out of the pocket, but in the end, oh, that was a tough one. Yeah, winds up getting buried for the loss. Kuhn knocks this one through the post. Well, I don't know if they would have gone for it on fourth and goal anyway, but the sack on third down pretty much made their mind up for it. You're exactly right about that. And this is a tough place on the field to take a sack because, as you just noted, it took the decision making away from them. Now they have to go for a field goal instead of potentially going for it. The punter pinion now to kick this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. And now trotting out there, the Packers getting ready to go. And they're about to come up on drive number four, but so far just two field goals on drives one through three. Wondering if the head coach has talked with his offense coordinator and said, look, let's, let's go ahead and press this a little bit. I'm giving you four downs on just about every occasion to try and get this offense kick-started and have it culminate in touchdowns. You know, maybe somebody will press it a little bit. This might be the case. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. It'd be hard to say that a defense wouldn't be ready for a first down run. And when you can gain that kind of yardage against a defense that's really kind of geared to stop that play, your confidence has to rise, and now you've actually opened up your playbook. If you want to throw the ball now for play action, you're good to go. Love's throw finds its target, Downs. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. His first catch, good for 16 and a first. Love going to give this one to Jones. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. Ball spotted at the 45. Here's a second down and four. Love with a give to Dillon. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Another six-yard carry, same as last play. First down. You watch Dylan run there, and he looks just like an enforcer for the Packers' offense. 
and he is. He gets the ball, and you know you're in store for a punishing powerful run. Almost 1,600 yards over the last two seasons on the ground. Up the middle, Jones. And he'll get what he can up the middle, three yards. That'll bring up second down. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. They'll go again to Jones. And still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Love with it here, third and short yardage. And this pass broken up. But the contact, well timed there, and now fourth down. This is certainly a team that has proven it likes to target its backs through the air, and defensively, they were aware of that and certainly were prepared on that throw. On now is the Packers punter, as he'll kick it away for the second time. And a fake here. Direct snap to the up man. And the gamble pays off. They get the first. 21 yards there. A big play on fourth down. And they were right in that gray area on the edge of long field goal range, maybe too short to punt it. So the defense probably was expecting this was a possibility. They should have been. And in most cases, what you do on defense is you go to what they call punt safe in other words, you leave your defense on the field, prepare for them to possibly go for it, and then you just have a little bit different responsibilities. You're not really trying to get a big return. You just want to make sure you get the ball back. But they fell asleep at the switch. Jeff Okuda up from his quarterback spot to make the play. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Love. Throw caught by Musgrave. The result only four yards there on the play. And they're going to have a third down. Well, that's always a good place to throw it just because he's one of the biggest targets not only on this team but in the National Football League. And you and I both know the quarterbacks love these large body tight ends and why not? Nowadays, they're really wide receivers who are just taller and have a little bit more weight. These guys catch the football, make big plays downfield. In the old days, we wanted them to block. Now coaches wanted to catch the football first. They call it a loss of a yard there. And that's going to make it fourth down. the two-minute mark in this first half of action. So off goes Love on is Carlson for the Packer field goal. From the left hash, this from 34. And this one is right through. And that gets him back within a single point. It's now 10-9. to nine. So he remains perfect, three for three, in the field goal department. And it's so important for any offense to have an ace like him up their sleeve, isn't it? Because now you know what his range is, and as soon as your offense gets there, you're pretty much counting on three points going up on the board. So now Carlson, after the touchdown, called on to send this one away. On the return, here's the dangerous Cordero Patterson. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. Atlanta now coming out on the field. And a methodical drive last time, but they couldn't get that knockout blow. They had to settle for three. But you got to like what they've been doing along the way, right? It's almost like the body blows, the setup punch. As you said, they didn't get the knockout blow here, but that doesn't mean it can't come later in the game on another possession. And the defense on the other side... Maybe a little gas, Yeah, right? a little tired. And if nothing else, they just feel relieved getting upfield only giving up three. They don't exactly feel like they've handled the offense.
Looking to throw it here. Ritter. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. As a passer, you're always trying to find that open window to throw the ball downfield. How about this one? Right in the middle of the field, right in the heart of a defense. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. Ritter here on third and two. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Out of the gun, here's Ritter. This pass is caught by London. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. That one goes for 24 yards. And partner, they're locked in man coverage out left and they end up running a crossing route. Routed it a little bit more than a slant. And he's just going to angle himself towards the right side of the field, and that's very difficult for a defender to shadow him across all that ground. Ritter on first and 10. That's to the right sideline, and it falls incomplete. I believe they buzz down. They're going to take another look at this play with all reviews coming from the replay official here in the final two minutes of the half. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. Looking to throw once more. Here's Ritter. Oh, and that is incomplete. Oh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. Now play number seven of the drive as they're looking at a third and ten. Here's Ritter. And he'll slide down to avoid the contact. Only able to get back a yard for his efforts, and that leads us to fourth down. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half on as the field goal unit to see about getting three points. And this one will not get there. It's off to the left anyway. It's no good. So a very tight first half. We had to break in a one-point game. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, back to you two in just a bit. But first, welcome everyone to downtown Orlando and our EA Sports Halftime Report. It was a terrific first half from the former Cincinnati man, Desmond Ritter. He has a touchdown pass, and that amounted to the only touchdown of the game for either team thus far. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. back to receive they've got the lead and they'll get this football as the second half gets underway 
And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Falcons offense ready to get going to begin this third quarter. And they got the lead. CD, what do you think the message was at halftime? I don't think the message was too drastic, I think, at the half or that they need to change things too much. I do think the offensive line could play a little bit better. And I think they'll try and help them out more. They'll probably keep a tight end in a few more times and maybe add a running back to the formation to pick up those pass rushers because they probably allowed a few too many sacks for comfort in the first half. A good pick up there, 26 yards. As they began this drive, I was wondering how they were going to attack since they're playing with the lead. Would they continue to try and push the ball downfield? Well, after one play, it appears that the answer is yes. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. First and ten, it's Patterson. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. Big Kenny Clark that time pushing up field to make the tackle for loss. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. On second down, Ritter. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. It looked like they had something there, but I think that he was thinking about running with the football before he actually hauled it in, and that led to a big drop. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Ritter now. This ball down the field for Pitts. And the defense loses him. It's complete. So much for a little five-yard pass play to your tight end. They made him a deep ball threat there, and it worked out. Times have changed, haven't they? Those used to be plays that we would clip and save because you didn't see it very often. Big tight end, deep downfield catching a pass. Now it's almost standard. That's a big part of everyone's offense. Get it to those guys because they're not just tight ends anymore. They're athletes. Extra point by Koo, up and good. And the lead is up to eight. A drive there of just four plays. And it was the tight end Kyle Pitts finishing it all off on the touchdown reception. Touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. Nixon now from his end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. So here are the Packers now. They get set for their first possession of half number two. They'll start out on the ground with Jones. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. I see a shake of the head as he gets up, and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. Here's Jones again on second down. And he'll get about three up past the 25. Not the start to the drive they were hoping for. That run doesn't get them much at all. No, not at all. That leaves them a third and long, which means you've got to dial up something pretty good. Think your best player with a play that he likes to run best. Here now a third down at eight. Off the play fake, Love. Looking deep here for Dobbs. And it's knocked away and incomplete. The second half now. This is an offense that continues to struggle to sustain a drive. Looks like they're just totally out of sync, whether they're running the ball, passing the ball like we saw there. I don't know. The rhythm seems off. On now is the Packers punter as he'll punt it away for the second time. They'll score that a 36-yard punt, and it will be Falcon football. 
Here comes the Atlanta offense now ready to take over here. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. First play of the drive, let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher, a really nice run. Ritter will set up to throw it. His throw incomplete. Oh, I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes as that throw arrived. Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand, and that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Robinson will try to pick it up. He's going to be a yard short. Needed two, but only got one. Fourth down. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Here's Bradley Pinion now as he's on to punt for Atlanta. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. So out of bounds on the punt, and the spot will be, the side judge says, right at, yeah, right at the 35-yard line here. The Packers offense now, they get ready to head back onto the field. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11 to throw now. Here's Love. Over the middle here, it's hauled in by Watson. That'll go for a gain of seven. And now it's third and four. Working out of the gun. Love. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. Eighth catch for him now. He's been a big factor. And it's a first down. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. And inside give to Jones. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Uh, that's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. Now Love. Open man is Musgrave, the tight end. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 36. Give him 15 there, and the Packers have a first. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver, although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice game. They run with Jones on first down, but he'll struggle here just to get back to the line of scrimmage. No gain. This defense, tough to run against. And those linebackers, they'll go side to side up the field, and there they get them for no gain. If you can't get linemen upfield to the second level to occupy them, they have a field day just running to the football and putting ball carriers on the ground. Not many yards after contact when they wrap up like that. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. I didn't like the look of that play right from the beginning. I thought he should have seen the coverage that was there, tried to force it in. That one, he's fortunate, just fell incomplete. Here comes the eighth 
first play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. Here's Love. That is caught, and he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Excellent play there on third down. Give them 25 yards. Charles, to move the chains that time, they had to complete it in a double coverage, and they got it done. And it's never easy overcoming multiple defenders, but he sure made it look simple. Found the right spot to exploit and won his one-on-two matchup. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Out of the shotgun, it's Love. Dancing to his left. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a halt. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. Oh, partner, just a second earlier, and they might have had him because they certainly thought they were going to close in and drop him behind the line of scrimmage, but he had just enough time to dodge the pressure, and he ends up getting yardage before being stopped. The give is to Jones, and he's going to take it in. Touchdown, Packers. Aaron Jones taking it in from seven yards away. And the Packers are back within a couple of the lead. And that touchdown ends a streak, for lack of a better word, of three field goals that they put on the board previously. They finally cracked the code. Yeah, they've been down there. They've been in enemy territory, as you said. They just haven't been able to punch it in until that point. Love throwing for it. And this one incomplete. So they went for the two, they don't get it. They made the decision to go for two. They didn't get it. They remained down by two points. Should they have kicked it there? A third quarter, I'm okay with it. Maybe first or second, you don't. I don't know, what do you think? Yeah, I'm, I'm again, I keep coming back to, I don't like to chase a lot of points, Yeah. but I also don't know what kicking an extra point being down one does for me. So after the made field goal, here's Carlson to send it away. And Patterson not going to return this. It'll come out to the 25. Atlanta now coming out on the field. Certainly want to avoid what they had to do last possession. That was punt the football because this, this game's starting to tighten up. In a basketball sense, you think about taking a little bit of the air out of the ball, right? Maybe milk some clock, limit the possessions. In this case, they might want to do the same thing, but control the game offensively. Put together some first downs, put together a drive, and keep it away from them. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he could break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Second down and a run by Robinson. And tough going there as he'll only get it up to about the 31. Five yards on first down, but now just a one-yard pickup there on second. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Going play action. Ritter. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. And that's a really good job there defensively. They went into this possession knowing that they needed to get a stop. They're in a tight ball game, and they got it done. Great work to force the three and out. Got the football right back for their offense. They've got to go to the sidelines feeling pretty good about themselves and encouraging their offensive mates to get some points. It'll be a 41-yard punt, give them five on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. And now the Packers get set to go. The things are starting to move in the right direction. They get the touchdown last drive, then their defense gets them the football back. Yeah, now they have a chance to get the lead if they can put something together here. And I'm eager to see how they decide to do it. Do they want to be methodical, or do they want to take the big strike and go after it right now? They will get four yards here on the first down run, and that'll make it second and six. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown, so a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later, and let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. 
Now a dump off here complete. And at the 42-yard line here and brought down there. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. They'll try the right side with Jones. And not much there at all. Maybe a yard up to the 43. Sometimes you're aligned perfectly and the play comes to you. And sometimes you got to cover some ground to go make the play as we just saw there. We saw a great, great example of perseverance right there on that play. Got to be careful. They might want to throw one over his head as this game progresses. Second down, love. That's taken in by Watson. That'll give him eight that time. And it'll leave him with third and a full yard to go. Ah, that's tough to play zone defense when they can just curl up right there in front of you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we talk about finding the soft spot defensively. How do you make sure they don't find a soft spot like they did there? Tough to do because what they normally will do is run routes that'll pull you out of that spot that they want to get into. That's what we call not taking the cheese, right? Don't go for the mousetrap. That's hard to do because when you see a guy cutting that in that direction, you tend to go towards him. 54 yards rushing for him now as he's done it on 19 carries. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside. And so many times defenses say, okay, we've got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of four on the first down play. I know they've got to be careful not to go to the well too often, but it's a fine line, isn't it? Because sometimes if you've got success, you want to just keep pounding away. But no success there. They rallied quickly on the defensive end. On the delay, Jones. And very little there. He might have gotten a yard. Yeah, I think he got a yard to the 41. another play as time has run out on this third quarter this is the national football league on ea sports and everybody thinking about the possible field goal on fourth it would be 58 yards from here on third down here's jones and he's going to be brought down short of the first at about the 31 yard line they pick up 10, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. A strong run there, and for a team and a coaching staff that says they're consistently striving for a solid running game, they love those plays. Yeah, that one didn't net them a first down, but isn't it the type of play that you write down on your sheet? That worked pretty well. Make sure you come back to it, especially in a key situation. And his kick is absolutely perfect. And they have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. So the drive here ends with a field goal. It does give them the lead, but this one's still certainly a long ways from over. It definitely puts a lot of pressure on your defense to hold the lead, right? They're happy to have it and happy to be out there trying to do so. But I know as a former player, in the back of their mind, they're thinking, why don't you score the touchdown and seal this thing? Carlson back out there now to send this one away. And he returns this to the 22. Here comes the Atlanta offense now ready to take over here. And now they find themselves trailing following the field goal. Still a good amount of time in this fourth quarter, but this drive very well could determine the outcome of this ball game. Off the play fake, it's Ritter. That one deep for London. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. 
Just because you've got the lead in the fourth, it doesn't mean you have to play it safe. I like the aggressive play call there to push it downfield. That time, it didn't work out. Now a second and 10. Ritter to throw it. He's going to drop this underneath for Robinson. And he'll be upended here after a pickup of three, getting it out to the 25. And this offense on third down today, they've converted three times and eight chances. This is third and seven. Back to throw, Ritter. That's to the sideline and incomplete. So many things have to go right for any passing play to work out. Quarterback has to understand the defense, deliver an accurate ball. Receiver has to concentrate and bring it in. Somewhere along the assembly line, something was off with that one. Here's Bradley Pinion now as he's on to punt for Atlanta. And the fair catch is made at about the 27-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And they will take over first and 10. Love going to break the huddle, lead the Packers up here first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. And he'll begin the drive with a give to Jones. Oh, what a move. Jones breaking from the contact. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. The 71 yards rushing now on 23 carries so far. I guess he was saving his best for last, so to speak. Longest run of the day coming here in the fourth quarter right there. And that type of run makes for a better night for him and his teammates, doesn't it? To be able to produce this late in the game can lead to some big smiles and satisfaction in the locker room after this one's over. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. Now that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. Now a second down throw for Love here. Setting up the screen here, Aaron Jones. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 44-yard line. It's a 10-yard pickup, and it moves the chains. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. Now a first down carry by Jones. There he goes, right side. Down the right sideline. Touchdown. Aaron Jones, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Packers get an important score there to extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. And that run going to put him over 100 yards now for the ball game as well. Yeah, he's really had his way so far, and that's just more of the same right here. All he needs, just a little crease, and off he goes. Anders Carlson now for the point after. And with that, the lead is up to eight. Just a four-play drive that time. And the last play in the drive was a touchdown run by Aaron Jones. So now Carlson, after the touchdown, called on to send this one away. Patterson going to bring this out of the end zone. Now a hit and a loose football. And the Packers pick it up. And he will bring this one back. A fumble return for a Green Bay touchdown. So they get the one score, kick off, get a fumble, take it right back to the house. <laughs> Two quick touchdowns within a matter of about 10 seconds on the game clock. It's like a big one-two punch that may lead to a knockout. Now Carlson for the extra point. And the lead is up to 15 now. 
So not only the cough up, but then the pick up on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. Atlanta now coming out on the field. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of scald out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. Second down throw coming for Ritter. He'll get this into the hands of Hodge. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. 12 yards that time for number 12 as they move the chains. Good yardage on the completion there. And when they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. Good yardage there on first down, exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs, keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. Second and a couple. They'll run again here with Robinson. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. Well, that's pretty symptomatic about how things have gone here. That play was just shut down right from the start. And not going to give them a lot of confidence to help turn things around. This now a third and four. Looking to throw it here. Ritter. Now throw right side here, going to be incomplete. We're going to give out a little applause on that play. It has to go to the defense. More good work by them. They've taken away the passing lanes all game long, and you can see the frustration that it's causing because he just about threw that one into the first row. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Able to find the open man, that's complete. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. And now they're gonna go for it. This isn't fourth and inches, this is fourth and 14. Fourth down, big play, here's Ritter. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. The Falcons go for it, but it doesn't work out. And the Packers are going to get the football back in excellent field position. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. But they can thank their defense for another stop. And now look at the score, where they've got the football. They're looking pretty good. They're looking excellent because now you're thinking to yourself, let's just take some time off the clock. Work it down. And of course, you put another touchdown on the board, you pretty much say bye-bye to this one. Play calling here can be a little bit more conservative because of the lead. A little bit more conservative. The biggest thing, everyone understands how to get the ball downfield and how to stay in bounds and make sure the clock keeps running. Second and 10. A give to Jones. 121 yards rushing for him now as his sensational afternoon continues. I think we all suspected that they were going back to him after he found the end zone on his last carry, and they kept the positive momentum going there. Another nice run by him. Third and four. Out of the shotgun, it's Jones. 
And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. Losing two yards that time, and now it's fourth down. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. So off goes Love, on is Carlson for the Packer field goal. This to make it a three-score game late. And his kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So the starting field position was terrific following the surprising turnover on downs, but the end result, only three points. Simply stated, I think you have to look at that as a missed opportunity. So after the made field goal, here's Carlson to send it away. Taken at the goal line. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. Here comes the Atlanta offense now ready to take over here. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Here's Ritter. This defense has passed its first two tests by forcing back-to-back -back incompletions. They know that there's probably another throw coming on third down. Let's see if they decide to force the issue by sending people on a blitz. The Falcons on third down. They're hitting at just 30%, three for 10. This is third and 10. Being chased out left. Smart decision by Ritter, sliding down, and he's got the first. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. It certainly appears that he's been able to get a read on how they've wanted to contain him in this game. He's seen some places where he can beat them in big spots, and right there, he slides in with ease for the first down. On first down, Ritter. Trying to get it to Robinson, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Darnell Savage. And he is not quite going to make it all the way in. They'll mark him down right about the one-yard line. So that changes things. You get the interception, and then to boot, a good return tacked on. And really, it was down to him versus the quarterback on the return, and that's one you would think the defender would win. But a nice job there of seeing the play all the way to the end and making the tackle by the QB. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. And really, you can't have a better situation than this. First and goal at the one. Suddenly, it's first and goal after the interception. A quick change in the situation here. Dylan. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. They're right there at the one. No gain, but don't let that stop you. Line back up and keep going at them. If I'm them, I'm thinking about going at it four straight times. Jones will take this one in for a Packer touchdown. Sometimes offenses can get too cute down near the goal line, but there's nothing fancy about this one. As Coach Lombardi would say, we get a seal here, and we get a seal here, and we run this play in the alley. And that's good work to hit the hole hard and finish in the end zone. Carlson on for the extra point. And they open the lead up now to 25 points. Makes the score, Packers 
They had the short field and they made quick work of it. Just two plays to get into the end zone. Carlson back out there now to send this one away. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. Atlanta regains possession of the football. Falcons first and 10 here as Ritter gets him ready at the 33-yard line. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And his throw here is incomplete. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. On second down, Ritter. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. That'll put him at 77 yards receiving for the ball game. It's a first down. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there is going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. Now Ritter to throw on first down. Looking middle, and that's complete. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that'll bring up second down. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Stick it with a passing game. Here's Ritter again. Complete. Smith has it. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 39. They give him 10 yards on that one, and that'll earn him a fresh set of downs. And with this game well in hand, perhaps we are seeing the coverage lighten up a little bit as they got burned there a bit for a first down. Well, we certainly know the coach isn't happy along the sideline because he certainly wants them to finish this one out the way they started it. He doesn't want to give up any soft completions, no late points. He wants his lead to stay right where it is. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Falcon football as we welcome you back. They're looking at second down now as they search for a consolation score. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. Mac Hollins, the intended target, and it's third down at two. Ritter now. He's got his target. That's complete. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. Ritter and London team up there. First down, Atlanta. Well, this game is certainly pretty well over. They can go ahead and mark it in the win column, but as a defense, they don't want to get so soft now that everybody just throws the ball all over the place against them, gets big yardage, and puts points on the board. They have pride, too, on that side of the ball. Ritter. Looking left side, he's got it, complete. And this will be a gain of six when it's all said and done. Down to the 15 from the 21. This second and four. Out of the gun, here's Ritter. And it's caught. And the Falcons are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. 
<laughs> I can't help but chuckle a little bit because at this point, it can't be a surprise to anyone in the building who's going to get the ball. They just keep feeding him over and over, and he just keeps on delivering. Ritter. In trouble, and he'll go down back at the 12. Quay Walker came through to make the sack. That I'm struggling to understand a little bit. That close to the goal line, first down, run the football. If you want to throw it, throw some play action on second down. They'll try again on second and goal after going backwards to the 12. The Ritter back to throw. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Oh, one of the linebackers has got it. And his guys will take over at the 30-yard line. And with that kind of a deficit, you can't afford to make any kind of mistakes. But it's been pretty symptomatic of what we've seen all game with them, isn't it? Down, say, down this big in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you'd quarter. say an afternoon to forget, absolutely. The Packers offense now heading back out onto the field. Well, they don't need to score here, that's for sure. They could just kneel it. They've got the huge lead late fourth quarter, but uh, we'll see how they're feeling, Charles. Yeah, we all know people out there who like to use every second of the clock, no matter what the score. And we know they don't need the points. They've scored in abundance already. Let's find out how they want to finish this ball game. And this will be a Packers first down as he's able to get this up past the 40. Brandon, every great running backs coach I've talked with has always talked about when you have great vision, you're not consciously thinking about your cuts and your moves. You're just doing them. And I think that's what we're seeing tonight. He's about run them into submission, uh, hasn't he? You took the words right out of my mouth. I was just going to use that phrase. He has run them into submission. Wave the white flag. Uh, Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on all those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish.